Welcome to the CBS Radio Culinary Kitchen. I'm here with Delta Ray, and we're going to be doing a family recipe. This is yes, great. this yeah. is my great grandmother's apple crisp Ooh. recipe. I've I've honestly never like done anything with apples before, so I'm very excited about this. Apples, you know, and one a day keeps the doctor away, so it hurts. <laughs> so it's really delicious. We're going to eat eight, and then we'll, I think we'll live forever. I feel like that's the, <laughs> that's the secret. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and you guys, this is something that you make a lot, right? I make it every year, multiple times a mm -hmm. year, uh, because of familial demands. As <laughs> soon as one gets made, it's gone. So I do yeah. recall one situation where I baked four at a time because mm -hmm. uh, we were all living together in a house, and uh, it was just like it was like as soon as it was cooling on the counter, it was um, no longer with us. It's so. gone. <laughs> yeah. So how do you start? Like, what's what's the first step? The, Liz's well, usual first step is to uh, pour herself a glass of wine. We can, we can do that. Um, actually, my, we I can would be totally happy to do that. Start we can with make that, that happen. First step. I yeah. think that maybe that. Yeah. The other you know, secret to what's what, what happening here like? that we didn't reveal on the front end is that I'm kind of a controlling Ooh. baker, and so when Liz steps into the kitchen with right? me, it's yeah. sort of. A, it's I just drink and smile. <laughs> while she's, that's my role. So. <laughs> But I'm a supportive friend. I feel right? like it's like noon, which means it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Everywhere. So the first step, uh, we've already got six apples peeled over here. Um, but the first step for this recipe is to peel the apples, which is the most labor intensive and obnoxious part of the recipe. So I'm going to let you do that part. Okay, then. great. <laughs> it's my favorite part. Um, is, it, is it really your, it's your favorite part? I didn't even know that. Well, because I find it meditative. Yeah. I find mundane tasks like this meditative. Yes. We all, um, we all have our different forms of meditation. <laughs> Liz has I'm a good story uh, about me peeling fruit, if uh, you want to hear it. Oh, no. Um, yes. Brittany can sometimes peel fruit while she drives, which what? is... Yeah. Well, I'm we, how would grateful you even, that we're both like, alive. <laughs> like, where would that even come up? Like, oh no, she, I really need to Here's where it comes up. Right it's summer, and yeah. we're, we're going to the river, and mm -hmm. she's she's driving, and she's got mangoes, and she's like... Whole mangoes. Normally, yeah. we're about to have the picnic when we get there, but she's like, oh man, I just got these champagne mangoes. <laughs> champagne the goes. Kind. They're so good. I've got to have one now. And she just like, she's driving like this with the stick shift, and then she sort of puts her knee here, and then... She does this and then turns and she's a multitasker. I don't even know how you would explain that to a police officer. Like the key is just an open knife <laughs> in the car, which I frequently have on me. I said recently that this is my knife hat and that stored inside is just my little switchblade. So in case you need peel a champagne a mango. mango. Yeah, at any time. So what, um, and this used to be, this is a recipe that who taught you in your family? Well, my mom taught it to me. Um, it was one of those easy recipes. My mom is a much chiller baker than I am. She's really cool and wonderful. And she's the type who's like, there's no mistakes. And if something goes wrong, it's going to be fixed. And uh, so having three kids, yeah. um, my brothers are also in this band. Um, they, it, she would just set us up with apple crisp and it because it mostly involves using your hands mm -hmm. to mix everything and we could peel the apples when we were young hated it but <laughs> now I like it <laughs> um, and yeah so she would make it all the time and it was kind of hard to mess up which is why we're making it right now Here, this, because... is, this is the part that I can help with <laughs> thank you Elizabeth I'm helping I'm helping <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, so now you just uh, cut the apples. Mm -hmm. It's very and important what size you slice them, right? Well, they're a quarter inch each. You want six to eight apples, uh, and you want to core them, peel them. Uh, don't cut your hand off. <laughs> That's sort of key. That's on the list, actually. Yeah. If she um, peels while she's driving, I mean, peeling while standing is like, she could do that with her eyes closed. Think. I know, but here I am, struggling with it. Um, and yeah, you slice them a quarter of an inch thick. I like can't believe that you guys put these in a bath of lemon water to keep them looking beautiful. Does everyone see that? We Never tried. done that in my life, <laughs> and I feel like it's way, way profesh. That keeps them from 
oxidizing and turning can, brown. Getting too brown. Hey, Liz. Yes. Do you feel like you are good at coring an apple? Because uh, I can... apparently am the worst at it. I usually use a corer, so but I can I can try. This is where uh, advancing the tools before I could have saved myself some embarrassment and just been like, <laughs> please give me all the modern technology. Do you want to switch? You want to switch? You want to sip one? Slice that one. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just maybe while you finish slicing this apple, I'll uh, move on to the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients. And the most important ingredient in any recipe, butter. Yes. <laughs> Pure butter. Uh, which, do you, did you bake a lot when you were growing up? I do bake. Actually, I, I cook. It's, it's in my blood. I'm Italian and Polish, so you can't <gasps> not, you know? Right. So, yes, butter is, you know, yeah. number one I ingredient. Feel always. always double the amount, right? Oh, yeah. I, I always, like, triple recipe everything because I oh. know that, you know, I'm yeah. just going to go in. Eat. I know that sometimes when Brittany makes this, correct me if I'm wrong, do you double the, the crumble so that it's... You are my best friend, <laughs> and you know everything about me. So yeah, uh, I take the unhealthy part and I double it. Um, so it that's is the best. The key to the recipe. Um, I did make some alterations to my mm. great grandmother's, um, and one of them was double the butter and sugar. <laughs> so seems like good addition. It's never to a me. bad idea. You want um, 14 tablespoons of butter. And you just plop them in a mixing bowl. I did a great job articulating that the butter doesn't have to be too soft. But it shouldn't be too hard either. Um, so y'all nailed it. Room it's a great, great temperature. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna take off the million rings that I wear, um, so they don't get encrusted with butter. Because you're using your hands. See, that's yes. the one part where I'm we like, we did wash our hands. Um, we did thoroughly. We did. And uh, okay, so those are cored. You're doing a great job, Lizzie. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. It's like a glass of wine, all your inhibitions are gone. You're just wielding that little knife like it ain't no thing. You know, a little Pinot Noir in the afternoon, you know? That's what my mom always said. That's always so still says. Mine too. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Do you, is there any, uh, what about red apples versus green apples? I never actually. Oh my asked gosh, I'm that. so glad you asked. First of all, red apples are need, the worst. Okay. Really? Do you yeah. need space? I have no idea. Well, I just think like. Just for like baking purposes? Well, I think in general they're the worst. Um, so that's just my stance. I have no idea if these are the accurate measurements, but I trust that you guys. We're going to trust on that. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we'll trust. Normally I would use a measuring cup to measure out the ingredients, but I'm just going to dump these bowls of unknown ingredients into this bowl. <laughs> anticipate can that. Can we see it? Yeah, can we see it? I don't know. Can so flour it? and oh, yeah. brown you can sugar. Really, this can is like it? set up. They set it up so they could. Okay, here we go. Okay. I thought I knew this recipe off the top of my head, but I'm afraid to make statements about how that much sugar. That was a sugar. wonderful dump. I, I mean, it looked, it looked right to me. Thank you. I think it's two cups of sugar and like one and a half cups of flour. Actually, I do have, I have your recipe here. Oh. I do. Two cups of sugar, one and a half cups of flour. Guys, it's organic. I have me. You yeah, prefer? I do try and use organic ingredients. Here we go. This is the fun part. I just got my hands in here. It's weird. Feels good. <laughs> feels weird. Strange. Exciting. Um, and you just want to make a crumble. So this is okay. going to like kind of come together, but it's going to be like pea-sized bits, and it's not going to like fully blend. You want a chunky vibe. That actually doesn't go in this. But thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> just I, I'm just identifying that it's here. Yes, that is cinnamon. Hey, Maybe don't forget just, this thing. Maybe I'll just shoot it with the wine. I don't know. <laughs> just impromptu mold wine. Room Do you ever tip. make this when you guys are on the road? God, no. She Well, she's made it while we were making our last album. You made a bunch of it. Yeah, I did. But, uh, you know, but, on the road, I would say we eat 90% uh, um, Cheetos. Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. Yeah, yeah, things you can buy at a gas station. Okay. Um, so did you know you can get pickles in a bag at a gas station? Yeah, like, I do. That yeah. blew my mind. My if dad got one. my mom a pickle in a bag for Christmas one time. So I did know that because it was <laughs> kind of some family drama. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I would have been excited about it. I love pickles. Yeah, it's like I think my it's a German snack. tradition <laughs> to find a pickle in the tree or something. But I think he took it a step too far oh. that year. Um, <laughs> anyway, TMI. Yeah. Um,
come back to baking. When I cook and bake, I usually like clean as I go, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure what Brit's approach is there. Are no. you sort of no. <laughs> I'm like destroy the kitchen zone. Everything. Entirely. If you could use all of the utensils to do it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I just got a dishwasher. <laughs> well, then it changes everything. I know. I, uh, then you feel empowered. Like, I can do I'm this. like, I have to. <laughs> I have to use all of them. You'll feel bad if you don't. This was, you a, know, this a was an investment. So <laughs> if I'm not going to use it, there's some utensils that don't get a lot of love, so you know, you're just trying to spread it around a little bit. Oh, definitely. Guys, look at you this. You have the utensils that you buy, you're like, I really need this, and then yeah. you use it twice, and mm -hmm. then you, and you never got a use it again. And everything, yeah. Do you guys ever, definitely. did you make cookies with your grandma, grandma or mm -hmm. mom as a kid, yes. and then at the first phase of the cookie where you were creaming the butter and the sugar, it was like, let's just leave it at this. Like, <laughs> I could just could eat this here. endlessly. Well, this is uh, not as good, because it's got flour in it, but it's gonna be as good once we make it into the crisp. Well, if there's no eggs, though, it's less danger, right? Yeah, there's yes. no danger. You could just eat it. Yeah, you could just shovel just this bowl it. into your mouth um, for sure. You could. Um, all right, y'all. What's next? I think with, that it's time that we use the casserole dish and put the put the apples in it. So I'm gonna just take these over here and drain the water away with my really buttery hands. So <laughs> if glass it's breaks, like, you'll know why. <laughs> Um, this might be a little controversial because this deviates from her great grandmother's mm -hmm. recipe, but sometimes you can personalize this if you want. I've experimented before and put crushed rosemary into the crust, Ooh. and it's not bad. It's not a bad time. Just I throwing it out there. What do you think there. of rosemary to put in? Uh, how did I think of it? Yeah. Or, uh, I think that's it one of those things I never put in anything, but I feel oh, like really? I'm supposed to. I, oh. Well, I'm obsessed with rosemary, really? and it grows right outside my house. So oh, cool. I just went and chopped some and like crushed it all up and put it in the crust, and it had a really nice kind of sweet, savory awesome. balance. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This recipe is amazing <laughs> the way it is. This is just the this is the foolproof way. Like I have put rosemary in a pie before, and I don't want to talk about it too much because it almost destroyed our band. Um, oh. That was the day that Delta Ray. Uh, almost was no more. We, we and, see uh, some sad faces from the rest of the band yeah, members. Yeah, I feel yeah. Like there's, I, been a, there's, there's been a few uh, days like that There's still some guilt out there, and Ooh. I'm happy to hear that. Every guys. every great band has those days. Because you know? uh, I made a pie with cheese in the crust and rosemary, um, mm -hmm. thyme. I thought I that you didn't want to talk about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> not <laughs> sounds like so. Not I said to. I've got a lot of pent up feelings about it. Um, yeah, so I made it and I, the feedback I got was that it tasted like pizza. And um, I tried to leave the room in a huff, but got literally tackled to the ground by my band members who were trying to say like, no, good pizza. It tastes like a good pizza. Just a little sweet and a pie. Um, so yeah, anyway, yeah. I feel like as an Italian person, you could relate to no, totally. just, uh, I mean, it's like when you walk out and you think you're looking great and somebody's like, oh yeah, you look fine. Oh, right. Not, not fine. Yeah. Like you look fine. That well, you know what the worst is? Just like, oh my God, how are you? It's so good to see you. You look tired. Yeah. That's my, I get that all the time. Do yeah. you? Because so you yeah. don't look tired. Yeah. No, no like, you don't. You I was just fountain. saying. I literally, I literally hate that. have, there's so much makeup uh, on this face. You don't even know what the real one looks like. Well, it's, <laughs> me too, girl. The whole yeah. thing's a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that next time. I like that better. <laughs> God, I'm looking down at my hands and it's just like, it I know, makes it look you. disgusting what I'm doing. It's just butter and sugar and flour. It's fine. Um, um, I didn't cut the apples thin enough, so that's the didn't, other part. Wasn't gonna point that out. I uh, love you. I think that you're great. And I'm sorry about it. I, I didn't. take responsibility for it and I, I apologize. not <laughs> want to be critical in the least. And I just think you're a wonderful lady. Is there, Britt, any tips about like how you lay the apples down or do they have to be? I try and give them like a little bit of a flat surface because we're about to put this crumbly mess on top. And mm -hmm. so I don't want it to sink into the apples too much. I want it to rest on top and get crunchy. Mm -hmm. And do you normally have an additional cutting board for your rings? <laughs> yeah. I like to put them in a place of honor because yeah. it's very rare that they come off my hands. So mm -hmm. um, this is a quarter cup of water. Uh, my my dear great grandmother would put a half cup of water in, and you, that gives you more juices. Mm -hmm. um, but I also just find that with less water, you get kind of a syrupy vibe, and oh. that's what I'm into. Yeah, a little personally. thicker. Yes. Um, 
So this makes it like more crunchy, like the less water. Less water makes it, well, it makes it more uh, syrupy. Uh, it, like it makes the liquid in the pie mm -hmm. thicker and. Yeah. Like more goopy. Goop. Yeah, goop. That's goopy. an, a, that is a very appealing mm -hmm. word. Professional. This term. is, and what's yes. happening now? This is one of my favorite spices of all time. Yes, this is a very universally loved spice called cinnamon. <laughs> if you've never heard of it. Uh, I'm concerned for you. Um, Please tell me you've never done the cinnamon challenge, though. Oh like, my God! No, we uh, our drummer actually, has our drummer, our drummer did, and he great puked. pictures of it. God, he did he? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, so I immediately just, forgot that part because yeah, he Liz blocked it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, this recipe calls for six to eight apples. Oh, you asked me earlier about red apples versus green apples, and I kind of just got, got up on my red apple tear. Um, Granny Smith apples are the best for baking, mm -hmm. I think, because they retain their tartness and their structure. They don't get too mushy, like a Fuji is just a mess. Forget and, about it, yeah. Fuji. And Ian loves Fuji, my brother. He's in the audience right now rolling, rolling his, eyes. his eyes. Exactly. Um, all right, I'm going to mess up my apples because I forgot that I have to mess them up. Um, and then I'll relay them flat for the crisp. But this is just to get the cinnamon you know, worked in so it's not just sitting on the top. Um, guys, pretty simple recipe. Yeah, and it smells amazing. It already smells amazing, and it's not it even. It's not even done. You could eat it processed. like this if you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would it be. It might have been done before with some wine. Super enough. low effort no to doubt. just eat it like this. Yes. <laughs> we usually, I feel like when I'm making it and when she's making it, there's usually an extra little pile of mm. apple slices, and we'll just sprinkle cinnamon and sugar on top of them. And, and eat them like that. Liz and I have had some very funny experiences um, making pies together. One time I called her at about midnight and was like, hey, Lizzie, I'm about to make a pie. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. We, li we live a mile away from each other. Oh, she was convenient. like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's mostly so that we can come make over pies. and drink and make pies. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, uh, drink and make pies. Yeah. She came over and we went, we did Facebook Live and like answered questions and drank a lot of wine and made a pie. It was mostly Liz answering questions, me making a pie in the background. Kind of like right now. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> and uh, okay guys, we're and at the- And she, well, she called me because she was like, do you have one egg? Yeah. And I, I drove down the road with one egg and then we, we baked. Then she stayed. <laughs> yes. It was wonderful. <laughs> Great memory. Uh, this, is the, this is the phase where mm -hmm stuff starts to come together. And I almost didn't say stuff, so that was <laughs> close. Um, okay, so now we just take the crisp. I like to like mash it up so mm -hmm. it doesn't completely crumble into the thing. And then once it's on there, I let it break apart. Mm. And this is forming the crust. So and you I, don't want like big clumps, right? Or I want some big clumps. Uh, I want there aren't to. Aren't you gonna fight over those later? Because those are gonna be the best ones. Well, they're right? gonna we get. We never fight. We would never <laughs> fight. Um, we do sometimes. <laughs> we have meetings when we, <laughs> whenever we are thinking we're in a fight, we're just sort of like, can we hold, I just need to talk to you really quick. Are you mad at me about something? And then she'll be like, no. And I'll be like, oh, great. Well, that was, that was the thrust of the meeting. Is and it like a group now, meeting or just a, like, just a one-on-one? -on -one? On -one. No, it's a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> meeting in our hotel room. This is how we, uh, this it's is funny. how we've evolved as best friends for 20 years. That we don't have fights anymore. Do we you have just meetings. like walk up and do that? Do you, or do you like send a calendar invitation? Like, yeah. hey, let's have a meeting. Right? I think we're going to get there to that point now. Uh, it's it's fairly nice, soon. you know. Do you do that? Do you do? Oh, I try to you set send calendar invitations cal for everything. Mm. Oh wow! So I don't forget it. Whenever you have like an organized. issue with anyone, just like mm, mm. calendar. Yeah. Hi, Happy. can we meet tomorrow at three? Mm. Yeah. And then when they decline, then it's. I mean, then you need another then meeting it's after a, that because okay. now you're really into a fight, you know. I bet. This wow, is this such is a looking treat. amazing. This is really fun because we are on the road so much, uh, and we never really, we won't have this opportunity for a really long time to bake. We so really, because even when we get home, we won't have it because our kitchens are not as nice as this oh at all. God. You're always welcome Gas to Gas range? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm so jealous. My 1965 countertop uh, that is just endlessly destroyed by me and everyone else who's lived there um, can't hold a candle to this. I'm enjoying messing it up, honestly. Please, please, continue. <laughs> we can do me, more. It makes me feel powerful. Okay. <laughs> Brit, um, I had another question. In terms of the flour, does it matter what kind of flour you use? Uh, I use all-purpose all organic. Uh, it's important to use organic apples because um, they are safe. And um, then I just use other organic ingredients just to be a little bit more 
Um, Hippy dippy. Yeah, that's the truth. Uh, there's nothing healthy about this. Once you've got the apples in there, you well, can't. Apples. I yeah, thought you said eight apples a day. Didn't you say something about? There's that. I did, but you and can't. There's water too, you can't so. claim when you've got equal parts apple and butter that this is a healthy recipe. No, just she just said it. there's water there's in water. it. Water is good for and you. And you're drinking wine while you're. So yeah. Antioxidants. 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 There you go. All right. Well, in that case, <laughs> you guys make a great point. We should just all eat this every yes. day. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. This is basically a salad. Uh, so yep. Yep. it's ready, guys. This it's, is it. This is it. Woo! This is it. This is and what goes in the oven. Which is ready. Oh my god! I just three twenty-five, right? Yeah. It's at, as my great grandmother called it, a slow oven. So it's a slow oven, and here we go. It's not super easy to bend over in a suede mm -hmm. skirt. That's you something did I just learned. Yep. <laughs> You you rocked it out. So now what now what do we do? Do you guys need some wine or Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, thought I, I thought you would never ask, literally. <laughs> I just don't this isn't my kitchen. I don't know where the glasses are. <laughs> you could drink out of just a measuring cup. I mean the bottle oh. is yours. So Brit's go actually, for it. actually frequently been known to drink out of measuring yeah. cups. Liz and I drink out of funny containers in our mm -hmm. kitchen. Do, 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 do. That's what, what do you guys it? generally talk about when you are when cooking? Yeah. Uh, men. Yeah. Well, well, who are we talking but about? I don't men? think that we'll talk about it now. Oh. I mean, I'm not talking about anybody. Liz has a boyfriend, which is, you know, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> must, which must like nice, it's like a it all comes out in the kitchen, you it's guys. Nice. I do. I, I love him very much. Hands. He's I a great cook, a but he them. doesn't actually like sweets very much. So. So you have to break up with him now? Uh, no. <laughs> but I just, it's like every time I go over to his house, if mm -hmm. I want to bake something, I have to like have this whole, haul this, all the ingredients in it, uh, in a big bag because oh. he never has. Any of the I'm good like, stuff. I was like, do you have cinnamon? Do you have sugar? Do you have flour? Do you have no, no. And I'm just like, what, the, get him? what do you eat? You should like, get him like a, a <laughs> You don't have butter and sugar his, and flour? For his yeah. birthday. He's, get a spice rack. But we balance each other out well because he's like, He's very good at cooking like steaks and chicken and fish, and then I'm good at the veggie mm. stuff and the sweets stuff. So gotcha. that's my boyfriend. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Thanks. And what uh, about your brothers? Are they good at assisting or cooking? Or? We never get in the kitchen together because we oh. uh, don't want to murder each other. Um, there was we gave that pack so. a long time ago. I know Eric seems to have cooked some pretty uh, Eric is a complex uh, They're dishes. both really good cooks. Indian uh, dishes. Really? Yeah. Eric oh, did Blue Apron for a while, so he like upped his culinary chops. He's a very precise dude, um, and also good at improv. What's yeah. up, buddy? Are we, are, yeah, he's um, in the audience. And Ian is the type who's got like a few signature signature dishes that he can uh, rock he ha out. He has he said out loud out. that he doesn't really like to cook. So then we'll have to have you guys back, and then they can. We'll, we'll flip rules. I would rules. love that. Yeah, just I mean, put you the could two just of them chill in there together. with a couple bottles of wine. It'd be good. I really would look forward to sitting back <laughs> and watching that and <laughs> laughing at them as they are laughing at me yeah, well, right now. Well, let's do a toast yes. to your great grandmother. To Aww, family recipes. That's beautiful. Yes. Yes, Sharing absolutely. food and friendship. Chim chim. Well, thank you guys so much for coming through. We cannot wait for this to be done and to yep. try it. It's so great. It's just for any an meal. Breakfast, so, lunch, dinner, anything. Middle of the night, you know. Middle we could, of the night. Cat, we could finish this bottle of wine for sure. <laughs> and then uh, open another, and we still wouldn't have the apple crisp yet. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank but you guys. Well, that's like the key of it, right? Because all the spices yeah. kind of marry yeah. together. So really, and, it's like relationship building, because you have to do something while it's cooking, Wow, right? this is beautiful. I yeah, tried. absolutely. I tried. I don't write songs. I think songs, we really like, really like, really built it. Building. We did it. <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah, thank Ray you so much for CBS having Radio you. Culinary Kitchen. Yeah. I'm going to snap you a picture Cheers. when it's done, by the way. Yes, please. I'm going to eat all of it. Sweet.